Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at Sabrent's latest hard drive cloning device. It retails for a little under 70 US dollars. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in picking one up. And in full disclosure, this was furnished to me by the manufacturer for review purposes. So who is this device for? Well, just about anybody. If you want to migrate your data from your old computer to a new one, like this Trig key mini PC or a new laptop, desktop, or you just want to back up your existing data, or maybe you're an IT professional setting up machines on a daily basis, or maybe you're just the family IT person, then this is probably going to be, if it works as promised, a little bit of a godsend. And I say that because it is compatible uh, with both Windows and Mac. As you can see, it is driven by at least a Type-C connection to some extent, and it's compatible with a wide array of drives. So we're talking about uh, two and a half and three and a half inch SATA drives, two and a half inch SSD SATA drives, and then of course, M.2 PCIe and VME drives. Uh, other than that, not much else to show. You can see the features right there. Uh, offline cloning is possible with this. Another reason that I think people are going to want to have one of these in their office, and their home. Uh, it just makes a lot of sense. So let's get this thing out of the box, see what we're working with. Uh, and again, uh, if you're wondering why I've got this here, it's because this is also a Sabrent cloning device, but specifically for PCIe and VME drives. Uh, this, on the other hand, as you now know, does it all. So. Uh, in some ways, clearly, this is going to be the better tool for a wider audience, clearly, uh, because it's compatible with just about almost everything. And it isn't very large, as you can already see. Fairly small. Uh, let's see what the build quality is like. If I can... Actually, let's just pull this out. <laughs> I popped it out, and thankfully, uh, well, hopefully, nothing happened to it. So, plastic construction we have here. Um, that's not shocking. And essentially, if you're wondering, this right here is actually the bay for a PCIe NVMe drive. So should just pop open, I assume. Actually, I'm going from the wrong end. That doesn't surprise me. You can see the little pry point. There you see we've got a thermal pad and your bay for that drive that you're going to be inserting there. And then uh, your locking mechanism, which of course will adjust to the different uh, size uh, NVMe drives. So, pretty straightforward. All of your activity lights right here across uh, the bottom of the device, letting you know uh, it appears the disk type. Uh, and then activity. You know, uh, it seems like we've got a full range to let you know how far along it is uh, through its process of cloning. Uh, nothing on that side. On the back, we have that Type-C port that I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, power port, barrel pin, haven't gotten to the rest of the box contents yet, but we will soon. Uh, we have an on-off switch, a clone switch, at least that's what I'm guessing it is based on the fact that it certainly looks like one, and then a directional uh, switch to let you know, uh, you know, what essentially is going to be your target. And you can see you can actually move that from position one or two, and then it shows you uh, right there, hopefully that's actually visible on camera that we've got, I'm trying to bring it in uh, that it shows uh, M.2 going to a SATA or a SATA going to an M.2. So pretty straightforward. Uh, and then here, this removes so that you've got your SATA connection ready to go. So pretty straightforward. And look, there are other devices like this on the market. The thing is, is that not all of these devices are created equally. Sabrent, you know, I remember the days when they were just really selling enclosures. And now look at them. I mean, what are they going to make next? A camera? Uh, I'm not being serious, but they really have come a long way. We're talking about not just NVMe SSDs. Uh, they didn't get into mechanical drives, but I think that's smart. Uh, but we've got all sorts of flash storage from them now. Uh, your instructions as well as uh, warranty. You want to extend that warranty. They give you the opportunity to do so. Uh, which is nice. But yeah, Sabrent makes it all. I mean, if you follow my channel, you know it. Um, I've got more Sabrent products coming, and that's because part of what I like about Sabrent is that not only do they make quality products, but they always push the envelope. It's like, if I could conjure up what I would like to see come out of a manufacturer, Sabrent often does that. And it's not because I talk 
to this aberrant rep and say, hey, you guys doing it? It, it? You know, or can you do it? Often I'll say, is this in the works? And, you know, I, I don't get a yes or no, but uh, at least I have an idea of the direction in which they are traveling. And it's usually the right direction. So we have an extra thermal pad here with another uh, spacer sizing uh, spacer for the NVMe drives, as you saw, in case you lose that one. Good that they included an additional. And then we've got a lot of cables. Uh, so we've got a Type-C to A uh, USB cable. And we've got another, um, this is a Type-C to C. And then we've got our power brick, which is fairly small. Um, now, some of you will wish that this could work independent of a power source. Well, that's a wish, not a reality. Um, you do need a way to, to drive it. Uh, same applies to this little piece of hardware as well. But again, this is a much more dynamic tool than this right here. Um, the only th advantage, of course, that this has going for it is that this uh, will clone NVMe to NVMe. This does not. The premise of this, again, is really working in the world of I, I want to move data to an NVMe or I want to move data from an NVMe to other drives, solid or mechanical state. So uh, they do serve different purposes, no question about it. This is much more niche, much more. Um, in terms of speed, I think it was quoted at 10 gigabits. So, you know, if we get close to a gigabyte a second, aka more like you know, seven to 800 megs a second, realistically, that will be phenomenal. Um, I, you know, we'll see once I start testing it. Uh, but overall, uh, this is something that if like me, you constantly are dealing with uh, different machines or you're reinstalling Windows or helping, again, friends and family uh, move to new systems and they just, you know, they want you to take care of it. This is going to make your life a lot easier. In fact, I plan on putting this thing to use just about instantly. Um, a new machine for a family member I want to migrate them to, and this is going to be the perfect solution to do that. They have uh, presently a two and a half inch solid state drive, so I'll be able to just plug that in right here, throw in the NVMe that came with their brand new machine uh, right here, and Voila, you just have to, again, let this know that you're going SATA to M.2 rather than M.2 to SATA. It's just a matter of assigning that target. And the offline cloning is really the piece de resistance because without that, it is less of a dynamic product, no question. But this is something that, if it works as I expect, really should be in everybody's home, office, you name it. Um, again, not everyone, but anyone who's technical enough to want to make this happen and, you know, make it easier for themselves rather than having uh, to go, you know, jump through a lot more hoops. So interesting to get it going. I'll let all of you know how it performs. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe and please stay safe. Later.